Good evening, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to the channel. We are back again with another date night trivia. Tonight, we are doing a different trivia, not general knowledge, but something called Survey Says, very akin to Family Feud. So you're going to see a bunch of different answers from people that have been surveyed around town here. And we're also going to a new brewery tonight, mm -hmm. 4001 Yancey. It's over again in our old neighborhood when we used to live here. So someplace new we've never been to, but one more time, we're super excited. We've done Survey Says once before and really, really loved it. We did. And never made it back to another Survey Says, so I can't wait. I'm very yeah, excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. I'm ready Let's to go. go. Okay. We're going to try to find a seasonal uh, drink of some sort on the menu to enjoy yes, while we play. Definitely. And I don't know how the audio will be, so I am going to continue to write the questions out and show them to the camera if I need to. But I'm not sure if Survey Says, if that'll even work. I'm not sure either thinking about that, but it certainly <laughs> worked for general trivia because I had to reread some of Julie's questions before we answered the other night. So, If I can do anything to help make it more fun for you guys to play along <laughs> with us, I will. I brought index cards in case, but uh, we shall see. This yes. will be our first time we have our markers. Survey Says for a camera. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Cards. Let's, Let's go. Wish us luck. <laughs> We're going to be walking in the backside, but welcome to the Brewers at 4001 Yancey. We have never been here before. Look how big this place is, and it's packed. This is awesome. Testing, testing. Oh, that does look nice. It does. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Smell that. It's straight up like pumpkin and cinnamon. <laughs> oh, that's, that's harvest. <laughs> She's like, that's the only way to do it. I'm like, okay. Cheers to oh, cheers. coming in third place again. Cheers. Let's hope because it's crowded tonight. I hope we come in third place. Mine is just called Autumn Harvest IPA, my favorite. And yours is the Pumpkin King. Pumpkin King. That's how that's how it's done right there. The cinnamon on top is a really nice little thing, a little topper. That's a delicious, delicious. Oh, you want me to try yours? Yeah. So you, you see, like yours and not mine, and I you like. See why we do yours. it this way? Yeah. <laughs> you like yours, not mine. Yes. The cinnamon is like medicine. The cinnamon does not taste like medicine. This is how it's done, guys. Mine's better. Ten out of ten. Yay! We got our scorecard. It looks different. It does. And there's nothing on the back, so this looks... must be. See, three rounds of ten. Okay. Oh, so it's oh. actually a different sheet than what we're used to. We're used to having each question divided out into multiple yeah. answers. So this I feel like my pen is going to die tonight. That might not be good. Let me show you the QR. Yeah, I guess we just put like our top our top guests. Follow us if you want. But here we go. We're gonna be able to hear them. So we have already opened up a grand sheet of the Mondas Queen's trivia line today. All your hooks on this lovely evening. So, what are we doing, you ask? Well, during quarantine, we came up with tons of family feud style questions and put them up on our website and social media, asking Charlotte to answer them. Once 100 people answered each question, we compiled the answers to use for this game. Your team's challenge is to come up with the one answer you think was the most popular. Okay, we're doing top answers. 100 people now, were surveyed. What's the top answer? answer given by the people we polled for these questions, which means that sometimes it may not necessarily be the most logical or even the correct <laughs> yeah. answer. Instead, it's what the average person might go with. Okay. Not the most logical. This is what the most people out of 100 people answer. Here's how the points work. The third most popular answer would be worth 25 points. Okay. The second most popular answer would be worth 50 points. And the number one answer will be worth a whopping 100 points. Time to the score at the end of three no rounds bonus. wins the game. After round two, I'm going to take up your sheets, get them graded, and let you know who's in the lead before we jump into our final round. <laughs> Okay. And after round three, I'm going to take them up one more time to let you know who tonight's big winners are. You've got it all over you. Now, because I am such a dollar winner, store. I'm going to be giving you guys the chance to score some bonus points tonight. Okay. I'll be giving five bonus points, which could be the difference between a tie and my friends, to each team that brings back my pins at the end of the night. Oh, we didn't borrow their pins. We're going to have to tell her we need points just for that. And don't think you're doing all this work for nothing. Our friends here at Brewers and Yancey have some awesome prizes for the top three. 
three winners. I would definitely come back so, already. If you haven't already, come on up, grab your sheet from me. We're about to get started with round number one. Let's do it. Question number one. If you were dating during the pandemic, what surprise do you not want to find under someone's mask? If you started dating during the pandemic, what surprise do you not want to find under someone's mask? If you were dating during the pandemic, what do you not want to find under someone's mask? Okay, I'm thinking bad breath, no booger. I'm thinking no booger. I don't know if you guys can hear. I'm sorry. That's why I'm going to hold up the question. Rock and teeth, bad breath. Ooh, I like both hands. Also, the Mario Two question number two. Next to tell you guys, I'm going to be giving an additional opportunity for bonus in point tonight. I will be awarding 10 bonus points to the team with the funniest name. So if you can make me laugh, expecting some points. All right, guys, here is question number two. Name an office supply you might use at work as a temporary fix for a broken zipper. Name an office supply that you might use at work as a temporary fix for a broken zipper. I'm thinking paper. We all agree on that. Yeah. That would be the most logical thing, and I knew it would work. But that's my opinion. My partner blinked my car, so we broke up. Huh? Okay. Question number three. Name an office supply you might use at work as a temporary fix. Have to be her. Blank. Did something to my car. So and we, we broke, broke up. up. In the car. Yes. What would it be besides key? Stove? Yeah, stove. My car. Question number four. I can't count. The earthquake was so strong, it shook the blank right off of Grandpa. What? 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 The earthquake was so strong, it shook the blank right off of Grandpa. The earthquake was so strong, it shook the blank right off of Grandpa. I've heard it's shaking, like, shaking your socks off. Would that be it, though? Remember, you're thinking about how other people yeah. would answer. But are these people southern? Exactly. Well, it's supposed to be in the Charlotte area. I've heard of having your socks shook off. Grandpa probably Tinkin? wouldn't wear two What do you Grandpa don't do that. And it said right off of you, so it makes you think of an article of clothing. Yeah. Or his yeah. hat or... Toupee? Mom said toupee, but I'm, I don't know. No, I said I, I don't think that would. It doesn't sound right. I mean, I don't know, socks is what you first think about. Is that what you do right now? Socky socks. Okay. I think so, too. Name something that if your date didn't talk about, it would be suspicious. If you didn't talk about it? Your date? What is it now? Name something that if your date didn't talk about, it would be suspicious. STDs? <laughs> well, no, children. 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 No, what I mean, instead of peace. Your booty. I thought she said pinched. You know, pinched. She would never do that, but. Exactly, this is such like, a weird question. 
like it would be slap. You would slap her? I don't think I would slap her, but I feel like that's the kind of answer people would give. Pinched? What a weird question. Tell your wife? Tell your wife slash spouse? Oh, I guess that. Tell your spouse. I don't know. I think I would slap her. I wouldn't slap your mom, but she would never do no, that. No, no, but I mean, I'm thinking of a male yeah. with a, a female spouse. Tell your partner, okay, okay. So when she was seven, name something you'd be shocked to find out your mom just got arrested for doing. Name something you would be shocked. Name something that you'd be shocked to find out that your mom just got arrested for doing. I remember these were seven people. Yeah, well, they're from Charlotte, but we don't know if they're Southern. So drinking wouldn't be it. For my mom, it would be drinking driving. That would be my most shocking thing. What about yours? Would it be something generic like murder? No. I feel like there's a lot of people. Murder is not that far But you removed. think driving while drunk yeah, would be a... Yeah, a real sin. You know? Drugs. Yeah. <laughs> That marijuana. <laughs> I would say doing drugs. Okay. What would you say? Over, over, I thought you were really saying driving while drunk. Oh, driving while drunk. But we can do doing What would you say? Either one of those, honestly. Yeah. This is personal opinion, not... Exactly. I, it's so hard to remember. I have to think, what do other people think the answer But I'm thinking is. that most of the people grew up in the, the 80s, 90s, and the whole their thing. And, where you have to get comfortable being around naked people. Name a place you might work where you have to get comfortable being around naked people. <laughs> this one hits too close to home. Do you have to be naked? Or be around? Be around. Oh, no, be yeah. around. That you have to be comfortable being around naked people. But would people think that before they would think like artists? But my brain goes straight to a strip club. And see, survey would probably be that before they would pick a hospital. But a hospital makes so much more sense, right? For us. But remember, she said it, it, the answer might not always make the most sense to us. This is great. I really like this. I have been waiting years to try pumpkin, and I don't. We don't drink enough to buy like a four pack or a six pack or anything. And You've I can never, never get it. it. No, I've never had it. And I wanted to try it so they much. They sell it in stores. They do in a four pack, and I would definitely buy this and sprinkle my own little cinnamon on top. What kind of clients may be thinking when she sees the bride walking down the aisle? Name something you would be shocked. What would the bridesmaid be thinking? What might a bridesmaid be thinking when she sees the bride walking down the aisle? The bride walking down the aisle? Yeah. Well, I don't the first thing that comes to my brain, uh -huh. I've never been a bridesmaid or a bride, is that the bride looks fat in her dress. But that doesn't mean I think we need to put it down as the answer. I'm just thinking that's... I guess that's more based on, like, the movies that I've seen and whatnot. What do you think? I really that just seems like a typical mean girl. The first thing that came to my mind is, is she pregnant? So it's kind of one and the same. Well, presumably <laughs> so if you've taken the time to plan pregnant. a wedding, you've had time. Uh huh. To get fitted and refitted. Yeah. Never a bridesmaid and never a bride. <laughs> Julie hates weddings. I hate them so much. <laughs> I absolutely loathe weddings. I haven't been to a wedding. I love weddings. It's free cake and dancing. I don't like cake. I do not. Care. And dressing up. Question number ten. Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. When it comes to a partner, the blanker they are, the better. <laughs> when it comes to what? a partner, the blanker they are, the better. Is it? I feel like girls are going to say Richie. You want to say what? 
like girls are going to say return and the boys are going to say better Yeah, and how many females versus males did they? You never know. Because you're right. I thought hotter, you thought richer. That's just what I thought the audience so, I know. Oh, you think the audience would say that? Oh, we'll go with that. This one is so arbitrary, there's not a right or wrong answer. You have to think like the masses, and we don't think like the masses. Let me show you our answers. Okay. Alright guys, this is what we put for round one. Did I say doing chugs? Drugs. Drugs. Oh. Doing drugs. Drugs are bad. <laughs> Maybe some of them. No, well, I was talking, I was quoting uh, D-A-R-E. Mr. Uh, what's his place? On uh, South Park. On South Park. Kenny? Mr. Uh, Kenny? Mackey? Was it Mr. Drugs are bad? Okay. Don't you remember that? Isn't that Kenny? No, it was not. Kenny couldn't talk. It's the only character from South Park I remember. That was skinny. Round two. Name the zoo animal people like to think personifies them. Oh, yeah. Name the zoo animal that people like to think personifies them. I feel like it has to be a monkey, right? Isn't it? Everybody feel like they relate to a monkey because monkeys are so human-like. I mean, I always say it's an otter. A river otter is my spirit animal. Or a dolphin. I'll go, with, I'll go with that. But it has to be a monkey, right? I just feel like everybody's... I think guys would say um, a lion. And I think girls would say something cuter, like elephant. River otters. What was the wedding question? The bridesmaid. What? What would she say? We don't have the answers yet. When it, uh, the when bridesmaid, a, what would When a bridesmaid say? sees the bride coming down the aisle, what is the bridesmaid thinking? We don't have the answer to that yet. We put, she looks back in her dress. What would think you refer to someone as being a caveman? Oh. What would you <laughs> like Julie to answer this one? Oh, I do have an answer, but I wonder if that's if it's relatable. What would make you refer to someone as being a kid? I would say bad manners, right? Like I was good. Yeah, but but I think you need to be more specific. Like sharing with your mouth open? I was thinking that and I was also thinking um, um, leaving the toilet seat up. Leaving the toilet seat up. But I don't know if that's like hate man ish because that's too modern. Okay, you said chewing with their mouth open? Well, I was I like, just thinking bad manners in general. Let's, you know what? General how about, how about manners. Gross, gross manners? That way we can argue that we are also referring Instead to like hygiene. Bad, Ooh, gross hygiene. Poor hygiene. What do celebrities get for free that normal folks have to pay for? Boy, that's a loaded what question. What do celebrities get for free that normal folks have to pay for? I can think of quite a few things. Um, like exposure, platform maybe. Um, You're saying like electronics? Yeah, electronics, jewelry, clothes. Clothes are a big one. Um, what an audience. You? Likes. How would, you, how would you put that into an answer? I don't know. Swag. Stuff we all get. Crips. Product. Anything. Can I, just say something like I can see any of these being cards, vehicles. Remember, this was during the pandemic. Yeah. Cards, trips. What do celebrities get for? 
everything. Everything. Cars or trips? Cars. Cars? That one's hard. I bet if you pulled 100 people, you could get 100. Number one answer might have been everything. The word everything. What? <laughs> what would you be disappointed to find out that you had to still do in the afterlife? What would you be disappointed to find out? I have a couple of answers. What would you be disappointed if you still had to do it in the afterlife? It's here yours. Uh, Wash dishes, do laundry, clean the house. Be nice to people I don't like. Okay, think like what the average person thinks. <laughs> uh, pay for gas. No. Wash dishes, do laundry, clean house. Maybe this is generic clean house. Walk to work. 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 I have one. I have two. One for each of us. Yeah, one for each of us, yeah. In my case, it's earphones that cancel noise so I can sleep. And in your case, it's an eye mask. I did. I had to start wearing an eye mask in South America. It got too light too early. So now he sleeps with a raccoon mask. I don't feel like I don't feel like that's the answer. What about like, like something generic? Somebody's headgear or retainer clothes. or clothes. You think clothes? Oh, or a retainer is a good one. You know, because people are a little bit grossed out by the, the slurring and. I would say clothes. Glass. Pajamas. Something like that. You're, yeah, I think Chloe is going to be there. Give me a reason you might prefer to sleep in the afterlife. I get called a vampire all, all the time. I used to work night shift, I was a nurse who drew blood, I ate steaks. Rare, bloody rare. I've been called a vampire many, many, many times. What would the average person say? Do you think they would say? They'd have to have like a, maybe a blood thing. Yeah, but what does that even mean? Like me, like rare steaks. Yeah, but I think that's okay. Eating eating rare meat. It's a thought. Yeah, it's fine. It's applicable to me, but I don't know that it's the most common. Yeah, but what would be the most common? Abiding? Being Someone abiding on you? Being a night owl? What would make you call somebody a vampire? Not seeing their self in reflection, the mirror, hating garlic. Sleeping in a coffin. You had a bad day. What do you have in your hand as you celebrate your dinner party? A fist. What do you have what? What do you have in you your hand? You had a bad day. So what do you have in your hand as you celebrate your pity party? As you celebrate, as you celebrate your, your what? Your pity party. Your pity party. Well, everyone's going to say a dream, right? I've, I've done that with Julie before when I was working years ago and in my hand was the biggest jar of Nutella they made and the spoon was in the other hand. You're a weirdo. Nobody I'm a total else, weirdo. Nobody else has a pity party with a bucket of Nutella. <laughs> Most of 
Most people, it's going to be an alcoholic yeah, beverage. Yeah, Correct? Um, Correct? Is there anything else, though, besides that? Food. Any food. Whatever type of emotional Oh, food. like ice cream. Isn't that like the emotional food? I would just food? say food to make it general, right? Like uh, eating your feelings. Don't know well, I tried to make that general, but you, would you rather have food? I'm, I'm marking out. I like alcohol better. Okay. I just feel like... In my opinion, most people who needed to... This one, sleeping. What about dog? Oh, But they said where. I think she said where. Okay. But I like that too. Everybody in their opinion. It's a good thing your boss can't read minds because you're thinking about what when they're talking. It's a good thing your boss can't it's read minds. Your boss can't read minds because yeah. you're thinking about what while they're talking. People are going to say about what? It's a good thing your boss can't read minds because you're thinking about what when they're talking. For me, it was always clocking out. Like what you're going to do once Literally, you get home? Literally, she opened her mouth and I could just see the time wow. clock. It's like listening to uh, Charlie Brown's teacher with the trombone. Because she's just here to buzz words. Yeah, exactly. So what do you think we should put? I think generically would it be? I think sex might be more common, yeah, more even though common. that's not something yeah, no, I would I have said. Not in front of your boss. My bosses have always been women about two to three decades older than me. And, uh, so maybe just in suffer. Going home, leaving. Going quitting. home. Quitting. 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 I like that. Let's change our answer to quitting. Because for me, that's what the next step after You were. Now. You were like, how can I get out of here? Never come back. Ooh. The who loves? Name a question. Name a question that, that mothers love to ask if they're kids. Oh my gosh, there's so many. The most common one I think, is, I'll let you finish that, is when you have a baby, right? I was going to say something to guilt trip you. Like, I carried you for nine months and this is how you treat me. Or, no, 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 no. It has to be about grandkids. When am I going to get grandkids? Yeah, that's pretty rough. I did get asked that one a few times. Okay, that might be the more common answer. I would have thought there would be a guilt element behind this. Okay, we, we had different upbringings. <laughs> okay. When are they going to get grandkids? Is what they're putting? Last one, number 10. This should be a quick two rounds. Yeah, and we've yeah. only got one more round after this. I hope this Sharpie will make it for enough trivia to get us I mean, through the month of October. As much ink on your fingers as the pen does. Yeah. Six. The is at the North Pole. Does Santa burn to stay warm and be desperate? Electric. The hour is out from the North Pole. Santa bird to stay warm when he is desperate. Oh my gosh. And now we're going to round with number two. I'm going to go around see how you did and grab your sheets this time so I can get them graded before we jump into round number. Would it be? It's for a month now, remember. It's for a month. The poll that he's going to put in the bad kids' stockings? Is it going to be Christmas trees? Christmas trees is not, let me reach around you and grab a napkin. Christmas trees is not a bad guess. Is it going to be reindeer? I like, don't you burn coal to stay warm? Yeah, but will, he under, will they understand? Well, the bad kids get coal and it has to come from somewhere. How would we word that though? Coal. Just coal? Unless you, but I like your Christmas trees. Christmas trees made from coal. That way we get both. What do you think, coal or Christmas trees? I never even thought about coal. 
can't coal. you burn it to stay warm, or does coal not burn? Oh, no, no. Coal is a very stable. It'll burn for a long time. Fossil there you go. Fuels. Then the bad kids don't get anything. So we should say coal from the naughty children? The naughty kids coal. Let me show you what we put for round two. All right, guys. Monkey, gross hygiene, cars, work, clothes, eating rare meat for the vampire, alcohol, quitting, quitting. When am I gonna get grandkids in the naughty and uh, naughty kids cult? That's what we got for rounds one and two. I think she's gonna collect them now and uh, see where we're see where we're at. Linda, the power is out in the North Pole. What does Santa, <laughs> what does Santa burn to stay warm? <laughs> I love how there's no right answer. I know, yeah, there's no right answer. ridiculous questions. What? I don't know. like Christmas trees? Or the coal from the naughty kids? List. I think it's the bad one. Okay, oh, okay, okay, good. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah, answer this one. Name a question that mothers love to ask their adult children. Are you okay? Damn, that's way better than what we put. Maybe we should change When it. am I going to get grandchildren? We put, when are we going to get grandchildren? <laughs> that would be tough. We're mother. thinking about what, yeah, what the average person's mother uh -huh. would be. Yeah. Okay. Your boss is talking to you. I ran What are you thinking about <laughs> while your boss is talking to you? Get out of my face. <laughs> we, we put quitting. <laughs> well, I'm different. I'm okay. Different. You, you're you having a pity party at home. What's in your hand after a hard day's work? Ice cream. See, I, we thought about ice cream. We put alcohol, but... But we thought the common well, person would say... Yeah, and you're in Charlotte, not. Yeah, and it's just told a people yeah. around here. Okay. Um, okay. You get to the afterlife. What do you hope you don't have to do that you had to do during life? What would you be disappointed if you found yeah, out you, you had to keep doing it? Yeah, what would you be disappointed if you found out you had to keep doing it in the afterlife? That's how she said it. Monogamy. I bet a lot of people put that because you know... 42 virgins. <laughs> Getting up in the morning and getting dressed. Oh. Getting dressed. Well, this going is like, to work. This I like mean, you know, if, if people work. Okay, that's all we said. Are you work. okay? We said work. <laughs> yeah, work. I don't like you to have to get dressed. Exactly. Well, <laughs> that's another question. All right. Okay, read her that one about what job. Which name job? A, yeah, name a job where you would have to be comfortable in yes. being around naked people. <laughs> <laughs> Newborn nursery. I guess people doesn't we have an age on it, does it? Hospital down, and we changed yeah, it. Yeah, we to did strip have club. hospital down, and we changed it to strip club. Because <laughs> again, we're thinking about common people answering. Well, um, you're probably right. If I said, if you said someone is a vampire, what would you be referring to? What would they do to call Blood them? Supper. Well, <laughs> but like specifically, what do you think of? So what kind of like blood of, you know, not not like actually. Somebody that would just suck the life out of you. Oh my goodness. She's talking about an emotional vampire. <laughs> man, man, this, you're thinking way too much of it. this whole round. I know. We put eating rare meat because Julie said people call her a vampire all the time <laughs> because of how rare I eat my meat. What was this one? What does your partner not wear to bed anymore? Oh, what? What would you be? No. What are you surprised at that your partner now wears to bed that you didn't when you first got, that didn't when they first started dating? Pajamas. Okay, that's all we put. Yeah, okay. Well, for us, or clothes. He wears an eye yeah, mask clothes. now, yeah. and I wear the head strap that I can listen to ASMR. Um, if 
your mother-in-law walked. What would you do if your mother-in-law walked up and pinched your butt? <laughs> <laughs> and I know who your mother-in-law was, so that makes it even funnier. And she say, "What the hey?" <laughs> we couldn't tell your partner. I don't know. I, I, I said slapper, but I don't think it would be out of anger. It would be like out of shock, like yeah. like like a like a whoa, like, like, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm not. Most of these people are probably going to have like an anger reaction or something. So that was a weird one. If someone referred to a person as a caveman, what do you think? They're referring to what are they doing? Why would you call them a cave? Yeah, why would you call them a cave? What would they have to do? Beardy. Beardy. Oh, okay. Beard. okay, we put Dirty. gross hygiene. Put gross yeah, hygiene. Okay. Would, be, would having a lot of beard be gross hygiene? Yeah. And we'll fight for that. What is the most common animal in a zoo you think people think of themselves? What, what kind of animal do you think people think of themselves in a zoo? What, which animals? Probably a monkey. Wow, that's what that's what Julie said. Said, said. Okay. Yay. All right, we're on. Should I? Am I supposed to take these up, or is she picking them up? I don't know. She's, she's going here. quick. I'm yeah, she was going quick, so she's going to grade them now, and then we're going to do this last one. Like, we've we've came not we've not her. seen her yet. She just came by and picked us. No more water. <laughs> she didn't ask us. She didn't ask us if we were okay or anything. She's my mother-in-law. Why would she? Yeah, right. You're pretty handsome in these new shirts you got. You like it? Yeah. This is my bear shirt. Go watch yeah. the video. Not a caveman over here. Not a caveman. <laughs> I feel like I've been called vampire at least three times a year since I've reached maturity. Over what? You don't sleep in a Over casket. what I eat. Over working night shift. Oh, working night shift. Being a nurse. Being called a vampire. I used to work with a respiratory therapist who literally said, he just called me vampire. That was his name. No idea why. Wow. The vampire. I have no idea why. Pale. Very pale. You're not very pale. Well, I was before we moved to Florida. I think I've got some permanent eternal freckles now. Oh, yeah. That's probably true. We just asked her when she picked up our scorecard. You're supposed to get five extra points if you return her pin to her. And can we get extra points remember, for bringing our own pin? And she said, yeah, just remind me when you bring your final scorecard up. Yeah, that's fair. I like fair. So, I'm looking and it says things you can eat and the amount that has less sugar than a medium, not even a large, pumpkin spice latte. Less From sugar. From Starbucks. From a Starbucks. Four Krispy Kreme donuts, less sugar than a medium pumpkin spice latte. Holy like, crap! Check. Okay. Four Krispy Kreme donuts. What yes. else? Uh, ten Oreos. Two, only ten. Only ten. I didn't Thank realize you. Oreos were that high in sugar. Two Nutty Buddies. <laughs> only two. Only two. They Thank must you have so a lot much. of sugar. And um, all of those are just one. No, of. just one of. What was the other one? Oh no, there was one more. Hang on, hang on. I did not know a pumpkin spice latte had that much sugar in it. I didn't either. Forgive me, because it was like a bunch of something, and it was something that, oh, 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 four, four bowls. I don't know how big the bowls are, so forgive me. Of Lucky Charm cereal. Of Lucky Charms. Wow. It's four bowls. Wow. Yeah, no wonder that pumpkin spice latte is so good. Yeah, for real. I think we're about to do answers. Okay. What surprise do you not want to find under someone's mask? The moon was popular answer was crazy facial hair. The cycle was long. Crazy. First was no tea. Number two, we made it all the supply and used to work to temporarily fix a broken zipper. The third was tape. The second was paper cut, and the first was staples. Staples? Uh, said staples. Fill in the blanks. My partner blanked my car, so we broke up. And the third was popular answer was key. The second was sold, and the first was crash. Fill in the blank. The earthquake was so strong, it took the blank right out of the grandpa. Well, the third was popular answer was glasses. The second was teeth. 
sweet legs. The second was their marital status, and the first was their job. Number six, we failed for We've done awful. Your booty, while well, the third was tell your partner. The second was laugh. The first was scream. Number seven, they were sexually shocked your mom and your sister just got arrested for doing. Third was prostitution, and the second was sexual assault. Number eight, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. Oh, where you have to get comfortable around being around naked people. Well, the third was a strip club. The That's second was bad. The first was a doctor's office or a hospital. Number nine, we should have put it. She sees the down the aisle. Well, the third was Valerie's was not. It's not me. The second was well, I agree. The dress is great or terrible. And the first was, oh, I wish it was me. Number 10, the blank, when it comes to a partner, the blanker they are, the better. As much as I appreciate it, how many people wrote the word bigger, in fact, it's smarter, the third. The second is richer, and the first is nicer. Round number two, the third is the third. The third is there. The second was the eight. And the first one is a lion or big cat. You said lion, didn't you? Number two, we refer to someone as being, what would make you refer to someone as being a caveman? Well, the third was, they were smelly. The second was their hair. And the first was the way they eat. Number three, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. Number four, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. Number five, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. Number six, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. Number seven, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. Number eight, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. Number nine, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. Number ten, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. Number eleven, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. Number twelve, they were sexually assaulted by their partner. So second was clothes, and the first was food or drinks. Event tickets. Number four, what would you be disappointed by if you still had to do in the afterlife? The third was use the toilet. The second was clean, and the first was work. Yes, yeah, yeah, Number yeah. nine, make something your partner wears to bed that they did when you first started dating. As much as I appreciate everyone writing or writing clothes, pajamas, all forms of that. But here we go, the second was a baggy old t-shirt, and the first was something they stole from me. This is dumb. Number six, I <laughs> so thought you could refer to your date as a vampire. Well, you guys had so much fun with that. Embarrassingly fun with that. But, the third most popular answer is because she sucks all the fun out of the room. The second was their name. And the first one is they're a bad kisser or too toothy. They're what? You have a bad day. What do you have in your hand as you celebrate your pity party? Again, you guys have not fun with that question. But the third most popular answer was TV remote. The first one is, or the second was ice cream cone or junk food. And the first one is beer. Okay. I gave you credit if you know any kind of alcohol. Okay. Number eight, good thing your boss can't read minds. What are you thinking about when they're talking? Well, the third was popular was home or vacation. The second was quitting. The first was how they look. The question that mothers love to ask their grown kids. The third was how's work. The second was when do I get grandkids? And the first was how do you met someone? And finally, number 10, the power's out for a month at the North Pole. What does Santa burn to stay warm when he's desperate? I have questions for the team that wrote Naughty Children. But the third most popular answer was no. The second was the sleigh, and the first was the presents. We told us third. Oh, for the naughty children, not the naughty children. No, no, I, I guess some other team wrote the naughty children. Here's your work so far before we jump into our quick third round. Finish that if you want. I can't finish that. In third place currently, we have the doppelgangers. In second place, we have the Tinley Trailer Park. And in first place, we have Diddy's Oil Suppliers. They also currently have the name bonus for the game. Have you read about that? No! Oils. Yeah, kind of. Look around your sheets. A lot of baby oil. Like a thousand dollars. Who actually wins the game? The memes on that are real. We're going to do round number three in just a moment. Ah, miserable. No. no, we just We're not miserably. learning anything because this isn't like the right or the wrong answer. But I know. Wow, people don't think anything like I was <laughs> certain. 
vampires only have elongated fangs. They don't have any more teeth than anybody else. Why would that make them a bad kisser? They just have two fangs. Exactly. They're laughing if they're in laws are I don't know. I'm confused. Does that mean we're like... <laughs> I told you we didn't think like the average folk. It is really empty in here now. I guess people are realizing they're losing and they're leaving. There you can see what we scored. Because we got second place, third place, nothing, nothing. She marked out the word cold. She thinks we're the ones who said you burned the naughty kids. The naughty kids cold. I guess there's no point in fighting for it because it wasn't one, two, or three. But how would you mark that? Cole was three. The sleigh was two, and the presents were one. Then we should have points for that. Do we? One, two, three, four, five. We got a hundred, right? Gave, but that should be if we got first place. And I think this was five fifty. Yeah, we got five fifty. We got a hundred points for that. Yeah. But a hundred is what you get if you get number one. And that was that was number three. I, I guess she. I don't know why she did that there, but yeah, you one, two, three, four, five, fifty. Okay. All right, round three. Uh, I don't know how we're going to pull it out, but... I really wonder if you can hear and if this is unnecessary. I'd hate to get home and realize the vlog <laughs> okay. couldn't play along because I couldn't hear. <laughs> so we did better in round two than round one. And I was so much more confident in our answers than round one. I mean, I didn't even hesitate. Surprise, socks wasn't in the top three. What was yeah, it? Oh, talk about their the children. Socks is literally an expression. Why wouldn't you be surprised if someone didn't disclose their children? I would be shocked. She gave us doing drugs. She gave us 100 for that one, too. All right, I'm just going to go around. Number three, question number one. Sorry. Where would you like to meet Whoopi at work? Well, I've been working remote for the last three years, so... Where would you guys like to get free at work? I mean, that would depend on your job, wouldn't it? Like, what kind of options you have? So you have to be generic. It's like, on the desk. Supply closet. Well, that's way generic. That's hospital talk right there. It is. Your handwriting is very neat tonight. <laughs> You're always writing in like Kurt. This is very neat handwriting for you. We are not asking my mother this. No, I don't think she can hear. Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know how many more nights we can play trivia with these kids. Mine is still holding up. Yours has. We're going to get you just the old regular Sharpie. We have a couple at home. Come on, question number two. What food is better dipped in chocolate? What food is better than dipped in chocolate? That would be number one, right? Oh, you think over strawberry? Oh, I was thinking marshmallows because like s'mores. No, I know, I know. But I feel like strawberries is a pretty solid answer. Remember, we're trying not to think like ourselves. Yeah, because marshmallow would be, I would pick that over a strawberry, but I think the average person would say strawberry. Although we thought the I average think strawberry. person would. Number three. What food is worse when dipped in chocolate? Ooh. What food is worse when dipped in chocolate? Green uh, beans. <laughs> what food tastes bad dipped in chocolate? Well, I don't like s'mores, so... You don't like marshmallows? I would say marshmallows get worse when you put them in chocolate. Um, tomatoes. We have to think of a common thing people would say, though. That's the problem. What do you dip in chocolate that people generally don't like? Or what would you never dip in chocolate? Which is, which is uh, it? Read, read it to me again. Are we saying... What food is typically dipped in chocolate and people do not like? Or are we saying what food is never dipped in chocolate? Grasshoppers. Tomato soup. Question number four. When Grandma wants to go out and get wild with her friends, where does she go? 
Grandma wants to go out and get wild with her friends. Where does she go? TJ Maxx. Oh! What do you think about that one? Michael said bingo, and I like it. Bingo hall. My grandma would have said the pool hall, so that's not too far out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what, what's the Bingo course? would be fun to do. Bingo would I have be fun not to done do. bingo. Me, it's been years and years. It's been a long time, I have. What is worse? What gets worse in chocolate? Dipped in chocolate. I can't. I can't even. The think. problem is there's so many things because you just wouldn't dip it in chocolate. Exactly. So that like you said, is it something that, like tomato soup, you would never put it in chocolate, <laughs> or is it like <laughs> opinion? What can't you do when the in-laws stay over? What can you not do when the in-laws stay over? Are these your son and daughter-in-law or your parents-in-law? Yeah. Um. You think it's going to be something generic like stay up late or... Swear, drink. Swear, drink. It. Yeah, I know. I don't know what the most popular one would be. Swear, if we're down here in the south, maybe I swear. I swear. Wait, 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 I think we skipped that one, didn't we? We skipped this one about the worst in chocolate, right? Okay, 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 you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, again, back swear? to that. What is worse, dipped in chocolate? Question number six. Name something kids find fun to put up their nose. Name something kids find fun to put up their nose. I never Maybe put something anything up. Kids find fun to put up their nose. I never put anything up my nose, never. No, me either, but I think that's the number one thing that docs pull out of kids' noses. He put Legos on blocks. Blocks. Oh, here's one, maybe, with the chocolate. Potato chips. You know they make chocolate chips. But they're good in chocolate. I mean... Oh, yeah, you got the salty. Okay. I like a, a salty crunch and a creamy sweet. What are people going to put? Like cucumber? I still think tomato. Just a tomato? Tomato anything. Onion. Oh. <laughs> Meat. Meat. Forget the chocolate. Yeah, I don't I have no clue what to put down on that one. It was so arbitrary on that. Meat. We're going with meat. <laughs> on number three. Question number seven. Name something about Tarzan that Jane just doesn't find so interesting anymore. What? Name something, Name about, something Tarzan about Tarzan that Jane just doesn't find so interesting Yeah, I was, the first thing that I thought of was the smell. Okay, the manly smell. Maybe we should be a little more generic, like not bathing so he stinks. Because, you know, she might be attracted to his smell if he were clean, but if he's never bathing, doesn't he live in the jungle? How are we doing, guys? Doing all right. Feeling good about this round? This is a, the least good I have felt about a round yeah, as far as our answers. One's this one's kind of all over the place. Yeah, like I have no idea where these are coming from. Name something that if you dropped it in the toilet, you'd still be willing to use afterwards. 
Oh. Name something that if it had dropped it in the toilet, you would still be willing to use afterwards. I feel like this one has only one answer and it's obvious. What is it? Cell phone. Okay, that's what I put. What else would you drop in the toilet and not be willing to remove? Toothbrush. I'm too No. What would you not be willing? Uh, what about, like, um, again, what about like a retainer? No. And those are pretty expensive. How would you drop that in the toilet? This one is, we've all dropped one in the toilet, I think I have. What, a retainer? No, a phone. Oh, I've never dropped a phone in the toilet. You've never dropped a phone in the toilet? I dropped a Motorola Razor in the toilet once. <laughs> no. And I fished it out and cleaned it off and it didn't work. So I should have left it there. Did you put it in rice? I don't think I did. I think I tried to rinse it off. <laughs> you had to clean it I think first. I took it straight to the sink. I was at the movie theater. I think I took it straight to the sink and bathed it without even thinking. But I, it, it died. That was the end of the razor. It was a pink one too. Really cool. I remember when that came out with the color. Maybe yeah. something you love to have in your living room instead of boring old furniture. For me, I have an answer that I do not think is the popular one. Um, I. For me, it would be a piano. I feel like that's not that's the common. That's what first came to my mind. And I thought, like a ping pong table or a foosball table. Wouldn't most people want to have like a sport they can do with their friends? Did she say living room? Yeah. What room? Okay. Name something you love to have in your living room instead Wait. of furniture. Would people pick like TV? Yeah, but you wouldn't have a TV instead of furniture. You would have a TV. Oh, in sorry. Different. Instead of. My bad. My I bad. would want a piano. I could care less about. No, no, right. But I wonder if other people are saying that or if they're saying and like. I like playing. And then what you said? If you're in jail, name something you might hide in the birthday cake you baked for them. If your partner was in jail, name something that you might hide in the birthday cake you've baked for them. Take a moment to think that over, guys, but that is the end of round number three, which means that's the end of our game. Now that you've all thought really hard for the last three rounds, so come on up and turn those sheets in so we can figure out which of you awesome teams will be I don't think piano is the right one. Awesome I really don't. Ride. That's just mine. Your partner is in jail. Wouldn't it be a key? Is it, is it any more complicated than No, I, I agree. Or how would you even have the key, though? Hey, no, maybe not a key. Maybe something to spring a lock. I, I don't think anyone else is going to say piano. I think other people are going to say things like right. ping pong table, foosball table. Sex swing. If you bring back my pin, pool table or ping pong? Bonus points. Sports ball. Add it to your score, which means no. you the difference between a tie and a win, my friends. I've known lots of people with pool tables instead of dining room furniture. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, so not key, uh, lock pick. Well, how would you pool? have a key to give them? Maybe you killed the guard. And then bake the cake. And then, I don't know, a lot of cake. I was, I was going to say something to pick a lot. Is that is there a, like a lot picking kit? Yeah, but I think, I think lock pick would be okay. Okay. All right, let me show you what we put. All right, this is round three, guys. How do you feel about it? Eh. I felt the best about this one, and we did the worst, and I felt eh about this one, and we did a whole lot better, but I feel really bad about this we'll one. We'll just clean up after this one. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, did we? But before we go out of our, over our winners, we're going to talk about some answers. Round three, question number one, where would you like to remain? We'll be at work. Bring all money and free keys. The third was hot. We're going to go to the bathroom. The second was a closet. And the first one was your boss's office. That's a weird.
thing. Okay, number two, what food is better dipped in chocolate? Well, the third most popular popular into is pretzels. The second most bananas. So the first most strawberries. Number three, what food is worse dipped in chocolate? Well, the third was chicken. Don't do that. The second was pizza. The first was steak. We put number four, where does grandma go? Right out of the town, go to friends. Well, the third most popular answer was a bar. The second was out for the early bird special. And the first was bingo. Yeah. Number five, what did you do when the in-laws stay over? The third most popular answer was snow or do jobs. Okay. <laughs> uh, the second was a uh, swear. The first was walk around in your underwear or naked. Wow. Number six, name something kids find fun to put up their nose. The third was food. The second was toys. The first was their finger. Kids are gross. Okay, so we got Number toys. seven, name got something toys. about Tarzan that Jane doesn't find so interesting anymore. Well, the third was all the answers. The second was she's sick of him swinging all those vines. And the first was that signature Tarzan yell. Big and full. Number eight, um, name something you drop on the toilet and still use anyway. The third was jewelry. The second was a toilet brush. And the first was your phone. Number nine, name something you'd love to have in your living room instead of boring old furniture. You guys gave me some really interesting answers for that. But the third most popular answer was a polar spa. The second was a pool bar. And the first was a bowling alley. What? Who has a living room that large? The third was a file or a lockpick. That's the third. And the first was money. What? For what? Toilet wine? Yeah. I'm gonna go buy cigs and toilet wine. All right, now let's talk about some winners, my friends, because that's why we're all here in the right place. With. Well, a tie of 2,025 points plus five because you both brought the pins back. No way in here. Is this what, I need one representative from Doppelganger and one representative from Ace of Shades. We're going to sell this tie in second place with 2,165 points because they got the name bonus and brought my pin back. We have Diddy's Oil Suppliers. You guys are dirty. Diddy. All right, and finally, in first place, with a whopping 2,300 points. In first place, with a whopping 2,300 points, we have Tinley Trailer Park. Who? Yeah, it's for you guys. All right, guys. I hope you had a good time with us. We did. It's gonna get really loud here, so we're gonna yeah. split. Yeah, we're gonna get out. We'll see you another day in another adventure. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Bye.